Okay everybody, a quick video just to get you up and running with the functional ear trainer. After you've installed it, uh, go to the shortcut, get it going. You need to make sure that your settings are C major, cadence is 1451, tempo 100 beats per minute is fine, you can go slower or faster, but 100 is a reasonable starting point. Uh, note choices, you want it to be the entire C chromatic scale. When you start off the program, it will usually just be C major, but make sure it's the entire C chromatic scale. Uh, make sure you're not limited to one octave, so untick that box. And in terms of note input, you can choose to have it in scale degrees, although it names these oddly. Sharp 1 instead of flat 2, sharp 2 instead of flat 3, and so on. I'd probably sharp 4 or flat 5 is reasonable enough. Yeah, it's just a thing. So, let's get started. That was La, or 6. 7. 5 or 4. Okay, that was the 7, but let's say that we couldn't quite hear that. What you want to do is just keep playing it and listen to the interplay between the tonality that's set by the cadence and by the note that's played. Let's say that we still couldn't get it, um, you can then just have a guess. Okay, obviously it's not right. You could choose to click this button to listen to the correct answer. That will bring up a dialog where it tells you the answer. It'll play the cadence and the note again as soon as you hit OK. Um, and it also will play you the pathway back to Do. Um, this is a little bit of a crutch. You don't really want to be hearing a note and always having to sing the pathway back to Do because it's slow, basically, and it's a, it's a crutch. So T Do. On the whole, it's best just to have a guess or listen again to the interplay between the tonality and the actual note. That was Fi or sharp uh, 4. And that's the 4. Um, so, yeah, that's basically the gist of it. Um, rinse, repeat, and enjoy.